peeps i'm back with another video this video was <clears throat> highly requested so i'm gonna go through <laughs> as best as i can we're gonna see how this goes um i needed to make some salt though so i figured i'd do it on camera so you guys can see how i make my salt though and also i have a little tip and a trick for you on how to cut it out and get them even but we'll do that later on in the video but anyway i'm hope everyone's been safe and healthy and crafting and thank you guys for coming to check out my video so here we go my recipe the recipe that i use has two cups of plain flour got this flour from you know, my favorite store, Dollar Tree. So you need two cups of plain flour, one cup of salt, which I got here. Um, salt at, this salt came from Giant, um, Giant, Walmart, and it was only 40 cents. So this is a great deal. So even the, the if you buy a flour from Walmart, it is, it'll be a better deal too. So don't go, don't get your salt from Dollar Tree because it's 99 cents at Dollar Tree and you can buy your salt for 40 cents at Walmart. And then you're going to need, it says the uh, recipe states up to one cup of water because you might not need the whole cup of water. But I still always just put a cup of water to the side because you might need it, you might not need it. So that's one cup of flour. And I'm going to go with that. Two cups of flour, right? And then we're going to need, this salt is almost done. One cup of salt. Which I'm trying to use up all the salt that's left in here. Just not much. So we're going to open up this one. The salt in the dough recipe is what, pres what keeps it from getting moldy. The high salt content is what keeps it from getting moldy. Right? So, this is my trick for... First, I'm going to whisk it around and get it mixed in real good but anyways what i was saying is my little trick for getting the cookies a little bit more like brown looking see this cookie has a little shade to it compared to this cookie see how white that cookie is because this cookie didn't have anything it's just salt dough it's just flour salt and water but in this cookie See, this is how white it is. But in this cookie, I added something to it to give it that color. I didn't want it to be too dark. I just wanted to get that nice, like fresh out the oven, brown, cooked cookie look. So this is what I use. Tea. I got this whole bag of tea from Dollar Tree. You don't need to get any fancy tea or anything. Just regular old tea. This is black tea in here. So what I did, right, for this recipe, since it's asking for one cup of water, <clears throat> I took the one cup of water and I put it in the jar. Actually got this jar from Dollar Tree too, I love it. But I put three tea bags in here. Got three tea bags, which I'm gonna take out right now. Squeeze that out. And to this water, I added, where is it? Oh, man. Anyways, I added one drop of gel food coloring in yellow. Oh, it's right here. 
added one one drop of yellow food coloring into this that's it you just need like one drop i mean if you add two it might be a little bit more yellow than brown but i mean it doesn't matter it'll still give it that baked look i mean another way to get a baked look is to paint it that way but once i'm done with this i don't want to paint it or anything i just want to like decorate it I don't want to go back and have to paint the edges or anything like that because you want to get to the fun part of decorating your cookie. And you see this cookie is a little thick. And this cookie is really thin. And look what happened to it. The ears broke off because it's so thin. So I'm going to give you a little trip and trip. <laughs> tips. A couple tips. To get your cookie to come out a little thick and a little brown. Thick and brown. So, I'm going to tell you right now. Y'all need to get your hands dirty with this. Because after a while, this is not going to work. You're going to have to put your hands in there. So, let's start with a little bit of water. I'm not going to put the whole thing. I'll put half or more than half. <laughs> See how it looks? It gives the like a yellowish color to the flower. Just work that through. It's gonna be dry. Not in a lot of water in there. But just mix it, mix it, mix it. The best you can. Alright, I'm gonna get a uh, a craft stick. I don't wanna touch this stuff. Not yet. Cause I am gonna get my hands dirty, but for right now, I'm just gonna scrape this off with my craft stick. I'm about ready to put my hands in there. I just I just wanna squish it and see it's it's dry. So we're gonna put a little bit of water not all of it not yet i'm just gonna put my hands in there because i can't help it but just gonna squish it down squish it you want to get that form that dough which is starting to form a dough already but it's still dry still dry but it is forming a dough see starting to form a dough but there's still some left on the bottom that you need to grab up into this dough. So let's see how much of it will actually go into the dough without adding more liquid. Just keep on molding it, folding it. Get all the dough, I mean all the flour that's on the edge. Bring it down, squish it down. a little dry. I'm just going to add a little, not even all of the liquid. I just want it to be a little bit more malleable, you know, like soft and it gets a little gunky and icky. And if you don't like messing with this stuff, this is not for you. <laughs> On my Etsy shop, offer I haven't put any Mother's Day ones up there but some salt dough recipes that I mean not a salt dough recipe some already made salt dough cookies in case you don't want to make them you just want to decorate them but I don't have I'm, I'm gonna about to update my Etsy with like Mother's Day and Father's Day cookies Right now, I just got Easter, which just passed, St. Patrick's, and I think that's it. I'm not really sure what I've got. But anyway, you see this? This is what you want. You want it to be soft and squishy, but not sticky. It's not sticking to my hands or anything. This is what we need. So, 
I'm going to get a smaller bowl because you need to keep this covered. It will dry out. Let me get another bowl. I'm going to put this in the sink. Put these two things in this in the sink. Didn't need all the water, but you might need all the water. It depends. Let me get this other bowl real quick. And a lid. I'm going to put that in there. Keep it covered. You got to keep it covered. It will dry out. So let me clean up my space a little bit. And then we're going to move on to the tips and the tricks I'm about to show you. So. Let me get a wipe. I don't like having all this stuff. Okay, so what you need to do is get your piece of parchment paper, put it down. I like parchment paper because it won't stick to it. Nothing like food and stuff doesn't stick to it. If you have wax paper, there's a possibility that it might get stuck to the paper. Anyways. You're going to go to any, um, like Home Depot office, I mean office, home, look, look this thing is rolling up all by itself. Why is it rolling up? Anyway, let's put this on top of it. Put this milk over here. Um, these are paint sticks you can pick this at any home store <clears throat> it comes in a 10 pack i got this from lowe's for 99 cents you get 10 sticks in here i'm going to show you how you're going to use this to get even cookies okay so i'm going to open up the pack right let's get this paper off of here now, like I told you guys before, I used to make cookies and cakes and stuff like that. So actually, this is a cookie decorator tip. Cookie decorators use it. It's easy. It's cheap and very helpful. So you're going to take, so like, this is what you're going to do. See this? If you put two together, it builds height, right? You could do one if you want a thin cookie. Two. I think this is a good size, a good thickness for cookies. See that? That's a good thickness. This is how I was making them thin. But you want it to be a little thicker. So you can take your glue gun, right? Just put a dab, 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 dab. Quickly put the other one on top. Make sure they're straight. Right? Let that sit and dry. Get you two more. You're going to go dab, dab, dab. So you have enough covering to the bottom. Make sure you have them nice and straightened. And let that dry. <clears throat> Right? So, you need a rolling pin. <laughs> That's what I forgot, right? Can't do much without a rolling pin. No, you can't. So, I got my trusty rolling pin from Wilton. And what you're going to do is just going to roll right on top of these bars. Let's move this out the way. Put these over here. Okay, this is going to be your guide to the thickness of your cookie. Boom. I'm going to show you how right now. So you take some of this salt dough, a little piece. Another thing that will be useful, you got to keep your, um, <clears throat> your flour around. I put a little bit of flour in this salt shaker just to make sure it don't stick. Even though it's parchment paper. It will stick. 
because it's wet. The dough is wet. So it's going to want to stick to something. So, right, you take your dough, put it down, and you're going to roll. You're going to roll, roll, roll along your guide. See that? You got yourself flat cookie dough is even. I'm going to show you. I'm going to got a cookie cutter right here. I'm going to use. I got a tulip. Take it. Push it down. Do another one. Take it. Push it down. Lift up your salt dough. And look at those cookies. Look at those cookies. I'm going to throw this back in my bowl. So you can... That's why I like using a parchment paper because you could just... Now look. Even. Even cookie. Nice and even. And you put that on your cookie sheet. Lift it up again. Put it on the cookie sheet. Let's do that again. Get you some salt dough. Now, if you wanted to make your cookie thicker than this, of course, add some more sticks. You know, just make it as thick as you want. But for net for this video, I'm just going to use two on each side. Okay? You're going to put a little bit of flour down. Because you see that that flour and this parchment paper help the cookie not to stick to the paper. So, you go to the side. Okay. Roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. You could get you a, a find you a rolling pin at um, thrift stores. I mean, you don't want to use something that you're using for salt dough and stuff like that on your regular cookies. You know what I mean? Let's see what other cookie cut I have here. Yeah, I got a teapot. I mean, a teacup. Cut that out. Okay, put this back in my in my bowl so it won't dry out. Pick up my cookies. Look how nice. See that? Nice and even. Right? That's tip number two. Because the brown tea, you see, look, you can even see right now. You see the difference of the color of your cookie against this? Just no color salt dough. See that? Right? So that's tip number two. Tip number three is you take your salt dough cookies and you let them. I know a lot of people can say, oh, I get bubbles. I get this and that. If you get bubbles, it's probably because you're baking your salt dough cookie. And that will happen because underneath here, you can't see it, but there are air bubbles. When you roll it out, it causes air bubbles in the layers. So you won't see the air bubble, but once you put it in the oven and heat it up, the air bubbles, the air and the heat, the I'm sorry, the heat will get into the air bubble and make it rise. And that's where your cookie's going to look lumpy. So what you got to do is let them air dry. You let them air dry, they will not have lumps. The only thing about air drying is that it takes a long time, you know, several days, maybe two weeks. So if you're going to be making fake salt dough cookies, like they say you're going to make salt dough cookies for Christmas, right? I suggest you make them around Thanksgiving time or before Halloween. That way you know that your cookie is gonna be hard and dry. 
it takes a long time for the cookies to dry. Another thing that you can do, if you have, um, what is this thing called? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can't think of the name of the, a dehydrator. Woo, child, I almost, lo I almost didn't get it. If you have a food dehydrator, you can use that. That will definitely speed up the process of drying these cookies. The only thing about that is don't put it on a high, too high of a level. You're still going to need to dry them for like two or three days or maybe even four days. It depends. But if you put it on a high level, the wind, the air that's circulating in there is, has, is kind of like high intensity. And it might lift your cookies up a little bit. You know, it won't. they won't be fat. So you want to dry them on a low temperature. And they'll come out nice. And you'll be able to have nice, even, good looking. This is from the drying rack. I had them on a drying rack. Nobody's going to see the back. So if you want, you can put them on a drying rack. But I suggest if you put them on a drying rack... Leave the parchment paper on for like a day or two. So you make them today, you put them to dry on your drying rack on top of a parchment paper. In the morning, flip them over, leave it on the parchment paper. You want them to get dry on the outside. Once they're dry on the outside, you can then take the parchment paper away and leave them on top of the drying rack, the cookie rack. Like if you have a cookie rack, so the air could circulate on the top and on the bottom. It's going to circulate on the top and on the bottom. If you can, if you have a nice sunny space in your house where you could keep your uh, cookie um, your cookie uh, trays. I'm not going to say. Yeah, you could put them out by the sun. That helps them dry. But if you put them in the oven, yes, they will dry. But yes, they will be lumpy. Okay? I don't know if, it, I mean, some people put them in the oven and they just come out perfect. That's never happened for me. They always came out lumpy and I was like, oh, why they look like this? And then, you know, you try to put icing on them or whatever, fake icing on them to make them look good. And it works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. But anyways, so those are all my techniques and ideas for getting you a perfect salt dough cookie so i hope this helps you let me know in the comments if you know if it worked for you and if you can tag me on social media i'm on instagram facebook and that's about it <laughs> but if you make some cookies let me know so i'm going to be making some Mother's Day cookies, but I'm making my cookies now so that they'll be dry when I'm ready to decorate them. <laughs> All right, so don't forget make your Father's Day cookie. Father's Day is Father's Day is coming, Fourth of July, Memorial Day. All the day. If you want to make your cookies, have the cookie dough ready now. Make them now, and they'll be fully dry by the time you're ready to make them all nice and pretty and have fun decorating your cookies all right guys hope this was helpful give me a thumbs up share my uh youtube video if you have a friend who, who needs help making salt dough cookies and i will hope to see you guys again in my next video thanks again see you later god bless bye